hi guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make tasty dango in coconut cream for this recipe you will need chopped onions chopped tomatoes one tablespoon of tomato paste milk coconut cream grated carrots chopped green bell peppers coriander and for the spices you will need one tablespoon of royco half a teaspoon of turmeric one tablespoon of paprika and one tablespoon of garam masala and of course your dango without wasting any time let's get to it oil first add in your onions that the onions are almost cooked I'll add in a teaspoon of garlic now that my onions are translucent I will add the spices please know that I'm adding the spices now so that I let them cook and release their flavors before I add in my tomato. But adding your spices first really helps to, to release that flavor from them and allow them to cook just a little bit. Now I'll add in my tomatoes. I will also proceed to add in my green peppers with the bell pepper. I'll also add some salt to taste. Put a little dash of black pepper. This is optional. I just love my black pepper. Now I'll add in my tomato paste. I will also add very little water, just a little, to help it simmer. Cover your pot with your lid and let your tomatoes simmer. My tomatoes have been simmering now for around two to three minutes. Let's check them. They are cooked now. We have a thick paste. Very nice color coming out there. This is the point where I add in my grated carrots. Cover it up and allow it to simmer for around 2 minutes as well so the carrots can cook been simmering for around two three minutes let's check them let's stir it up and you can see all the vegetables that we added are cooked now the tomatoes are completely dissolved and this is what we are looking for at this point we go ahead and add in our dango
and it's also important when you're boiling your dengu to let them cook and be very very soft that is what will give us a thick stew now instead of adding water in your dengu we will be adding milk sometimes when you don't have coconut cream you can always just use milk in your dengu and the results will be perfect now let's stir that up and let that simmer for a few minutes also when you don't want to use milk you can totally use uh, coconut milk or coconut cream and that's it but i love to add my milk and then my coconut cream please keep stirring your dengu so that it doesn't stick at the bottom dengu beans they tend to stick at the bottom of the pot so just keep stirring so that you don't get burnt dengu now my dengu has been cooking for a few minutes let's stir it you can see how creamy and thick so i'm adding my coconut cream stir that up mm. It smells so good. I can smell the aroma from the coconut <clears throat> and the spices that we use, the garam masala. And that's why you always have to use garam masala in your dengue. It is the secret and perfect ingredient for it. That is so thick, so creamy. Oh. This is going to taste really good with my chapatis. I'll add my coriander. Just stir it up, allow it to cook. Just for a few minutes, like one minute. And that's it it's ready to serve let's serve this and here is my served dengu you can see how thick it is colorful I went ahead to add a little bit of coriander I will be serving this with my chapatis which I made earlier I have a video on how to make super soft chapatis check that out try out this recipe and let me know in the description box below how your dengu came out here is my dengue with chapati. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching.